How to attach thigh highs to a garter belt. Garter belts were invented in the 1920s as a way to hold up stockings in a time when elastic didn't exist. Nowadays, they're primarily used as a fashion accessory, adding a bit of pizzazz to your undergarments. Putting one on ISNT particularly difficult, though they can be a bit finicky if you wear them throughout the day. To make them easier to wear, you should start by picking the right garter belt for your purposes. Part 1 Putting on the garter and thigh highs 1. Put the garter on Some garters may just slip on. However, most will have a hook and clasp system or velcro. Wrap it around your waist. Usually the closure goes in the back. Adjust it so it stays up but is comfortable. Wrap the belt around your waist. It should sit about at your waistline. Attach it at the back by sliding the hooks into the clasps. Choose the line of clasps that is the most comfortable for you. This step is basically like attaching a bra. If you have trouble attaching it in the back, hook it together in the front and then move it around to the front. 2. Put on your pantyhose. Pull up your thigh highs to the right height. Start adjusting the straps to meet the top of your hose. You'll want your straps to be at slightly different lengths. The ones in the back should be the longest, giving you room to bend over. The straps on the sides should be an inch shorter, and the ones on the front should be two inches shorter than the back, all of which will help you bend easier. It also helps when you sit down. 3. Attach the garter clasps to your thigh highs. Each clasp consists of a rubber nub and a metal piece that fits over it. To attach it, put the rubber nub underneath the top edge of the stocking. The clasp should reach straight down to the stocking, unless it's sewn on at an angle. It should fall about an inch past the top of the stocking. Slide the metal clasp over the nub. Pull up so the nub slides into place. Repeat with the remaining clasps around the belt. When you fasten a clasp, push the rubber nub from behind so that you can see it sticking out through the front. However, don't push so hard that you tear a hole in your stockings. The top of each clasp has a wide end and a narrow end at the bottom. Start with the wide end, sliding it over the nub, then pull up so the narrow end is surrounding the nub, holding it in place. Be careful if you have plastic clasps. If you apply too much pressure to a plastic clasp, it will snap in two, and your garter won't be usable. 4. Readjust as needed. You'll likely need to readjust once you've gotten your stockings settled to make sure they are at the right height. In addition, you'll probably need to readjust throughout the day. An easy way to do this is to check on them when you're in the bathroom. Make sure you sit down and stand up with the garter belt on so you can see how it fits. You don't want it to have too much tension when you sit down because it might pop off. However, when you stand up, your thigh highs should be mostly taut, as you don't want them pooling at your ankles. Loosen and tighten the straps as needed. 5. Put on your underwear last. This step may seem counter-intuitive. A belt should go on the outside of your undergarments, right? Well, not if you want to use the bathroom more easily. If you put your panties on before the belt, you'll have to undo the straps, take off your garter belt, and pull down your underwear to use the restroom. Putting your underwear over the belt and straps prevents that problem. Therefore, if you're only going to wear the garter belt for a little while, it's fine to put your underwear on first. However, if you plan to wear it all day, you might want to put your underwear on last, though under your skirt or pants, of course. You can also go without underwear if you prefer. Part 2 Choosing a Garter Belt 1. Find the right size You may find that a garter belt you're looking at is a one, size, fits, all model. That may fit some people, but it of course won't fit everyone. A better bet is finding one that is actually in your size, 
as many brands make them in standard sizes. It's best if you can try it on first, though some stores may not let you do that. You want a garter belt that stays in place. If it slips, your thigh highs will slip also. However, you don't want one so tight you can't breathe. Make sure it's loose enough to be comfortable. Finally, look for one that is adjustable. Most of them will have several rows of hooks, much like a bra, so that you can make adjustments as needed. 2. Pick one with metal clasps. Plastic clasps don't grasp as well as metal. In addition, the plastic ones tend to break. Therefore, try to pick a garter belt that has metal clasps for the best possible grip. 3. Find the best straps. Generally, for the best hold, pick a belt that has six clasps. Some have only four, and those may pop off if you plan on wearing it for more than an hour or so. Another important component to look for is elastic straps. While most straps are adjustable, elastic will allow the straps to keep hold of your thigh highs when you move around or bend over, as it means the straps have give and won't pop off at the clasp. You can even find garter belts with many more straps, up to 8 or 10, which will hold even better. Also, thick straps are better because they're less likely twist and they provide a better hold. 4. Decide how much coverage you want. Some garter belts just cover a small area, forming a small belt across your waist. Others are much wider. What you choose is up to you. You should base it on how comfortable it is and the look you are going for, as garter belts are often used as lingerie. A wider belt will be more comfortable if you plan to wear it all day. 5. Pick a practical fabric. While that fur belt might look pretty, it's not going to be comfortable or breathe well. That's fine if you're only planning on wearing the belt for a little while. However, if you plan to wear it all day, pick something like satin or cotton that will breathe better and provide more comfort. 6. Decide how much you want to spend. Cheap garter belts may seem like a great option, but they probably won't hold up. If you're planning to wear it often, you might want to spend a little more money to get a better quality belt. Tips Be gentle with your stockings, as you can put a run or hole in them with your nails if you're not careful. 